I would have thought the Glasshouse Mountains would be just plain old mountains. But they're actually ancient pyramids built by aliens. <laughs> from Mulaney in the Sunshine Coast hinterland. We've driven from Toowoomba today and we're heading towards the Sunshine Coast, but we've stopped over for a couple of stops inside the Sunshine Coast hinterland, starting with here in Mulaney at Mary Cancross Scenic Reserve. And behind us, you can see the Glasshouse Mountains, which we might see some more of on this trip, maybe with a better view and less rain, because seems like these rainforests that we've been visiting lately really are rainforests. It's, it's a bit misty. Again. <laughs> misty out there. It won't really show up too well on camera. Maybe it'll clear a bit. But we're about to dive into a little bit of a rainforest walk, so shall we continue? Look at the twisted fins. This is luscious. It's probably worth coming here in the wet. Probably the best time to come is in the wet. So apparently one of these Probably that guy there with the huge leaves is a giant stinging tree and has large leaves with needle-like silica hairs that if they get you, the pain can last weeks or months or even years. But there's no warning about falling leaves, so I guess we're safe in this area. Wow. Years. That one over there has huge leaves, so I reckon it's him. Years is a really long time to be feeling the pain from one of those guys. Watch out for them, far out. Even a dropped leaf can cause a painful sting. So the mist is cleared, so we've jumped back up here to get some more quality imagery of these mountains. How good are they? It's like leftover rocks from the bottom of huge mountains, is that what it is? I think so. There is a bit of a local indigenous legend that goes along with the Glasshouse Mountains. The legend goes that Tibrigargan and his wife Biwa, the big mountains on either side, had a whole heap of children, nine children, which is all the mountains in between. The one in the middle that's a bit crooked was asked to look after the rest of his siblings and something went horribly wrong. One of them was swept away by a large wave and the crooked one, Kinaran, was so ashamed that he tried to prove himself by stealing a woman. Didn't really work out so well and he got attacked and his neck was broken, so that's why he's crooked. And that's the story of the Glasshouse Mountains. Also, the Glasshouse Mountains were named by Captain Cook when he saw them from a distance and likened them to glass kiln houses in York in England and thought that they looked like that, so he called them the Glasshouse Mountains. Mary Can Cross, we made our way to Mullaney, which is a cool little Sunday drive kind of town where there's heaps of stuff to look at, antique shops, cafes, that kind of thing. We stopped into Brouhaha for some lunch. I had the <laughs> kids grilled fish because they were running low on stock and couldn't do much else gluten free for me. Had to get the children's serve of grilled fish, but I did find something I could eat in the end. Jesse had the most delicious burger of his life, he tells me. Unfortunately for Dana, they couldn't do the gluten-free burger because they had ran out of the usual patty. But that means they had to use seven star, seven point, seven... Something like that. Seven, some, seven, level seven, we'll call it level seven Wagyu brisket for their burgers. And it was amazing. They should have charged us $100 for the burger. And I'm so sad that I couldn't have it. Mm. <laughs> but there was beer in the brisket, so no luck for me. And Jesse got a beer, which... Was it delicious? Can't beat an IPA. Oh, that's, that's good. A delicious beer. But the burger was where it was at. And I got a Willie Smith apple cider. And then we've headed on to Montville, which is another town much like Mullaney, where there's lots of things to do on a Sunday drive, except I haven't actually been to this one before, and it looks really cool. There's like a clock shop, chocolate shop. We popped into Monty's and I got some ice cream with a gluten-free cone, which is pretty rare, and gluten-free donuts. And chocolate. And cherry rice. Um, cherry ripe and chocolate. So I'm pretty stoked about that. But it is still raining, so I think we're going to head on to our final destination for the night. If you have a whole day to explore around Melania Montville, you should definitely allocate more time than we did because there's so much to see and do here. Coming 
being from Queensland, I've been to the Sunshine Coast a lot and I've always found it kind of ironic how rainy it always seems to be here considering it's called the Sunshine Coast. But anyway, I'm gonna try one of my gluten-free donuts. Nice and moist. It's not quite as good as the ones from Toowoomba, but any donut port in a um, Sunshine Coast storm, I guess. <laughs> it is still a good donut. How's your coffee? Yum! <laughs> Welcome to Malulaba. There's a really happening boardwalk here, but today is New Year's Day. Happy New Year's, though it's going to be a little while before you see this, I think. So well past New Year's. So the beach is crawling with people. So many of them. Thousands of people. We are actually headed further up north for a little bit of a beach holiday starting later tonight. So we're probably not going to go into the water today, but we thought we'd come down to the beach anyway, especially because it's really humid. And as soon as you get near the ocean, the ocean breeze just takes that all away and you don't even notice. It'd be nice to go in the water to get rid of this humidity. We're from Canberra, a dry place. We're not used to this, but we've got some more things planned for the rest of the day. So let's keep on going. We're headed to your mates. <laughs> <laughs> we are your mates. Hey. So it's pretty funny. I Dana was like, "Where are we going? Which brewery are we going to?" I said, "Your mates." And Dana's like, "My mates? I don't have a mate who brews beer." <laughs> I thought he was being short with me. Yeah, I was being short because it was funnier that way. I could keep it going, and she was like, "No, where are we <laughs> headed? We're headed to your mates. Your mates brewery. No, my mates don't have a brewery." And then I probably took it what one, two more goes after that, and then let her in on the on the joke. <laughs> I should have known, I was the one who pointed it out to him in the first place. <laughs> Let's get in there. So this is Dana's first mate, Larry. The Larry Pale Ale. Mmm, it's good, quenchable got that, I wouldn't say bite, it's not, not harsh at all, it's, um, it's got something, it's pretty easy going. So behind us they are packing cartons of beer which you rarely get to see when you walk into a brewery. Yeah, lots of Larry getting packed, Larry must be uh, preparing for a, a number one spot on the GADS Top 100. The GADS Hottest 100 is a competition that happens pretty much exactly at the same time as Triple J's Hottest 100. I better get a coaster so I can scan the little code and then help them take out the top spot. How's the sign? It's good, it's sweet and cloudy and delicious. And it specifically says gluten free too, which is nice. The legend goes that people come outside and I feel awkward. Oh, nice. You gotta say it to the camera though. This is luscious. What's that down a pound? Because there's so much to see and do here. <laughs> we are at my mates? Your mates? No, your right, mates. Right, your mates. Hey. There's Larry. Plaza. <laughs> <laughs> 